Hello and welcome to a brand new segment for the channel where I will be covering each and every new 52 DC title. So you might be wondering uh, why I've picked the new 52. Uh, the answer is simply uh, the series covers a wide range of different DC characters and currently um, one has re read a lot, a lot of Batman and uh, significantly less of, um, sorry, significantly fewer of all the other DC titles, all the other DC characters out there. That's not to say that I haven't read any uh, DC characters, but Batman has definitely been the main focus uh, and that needs to change. So with that in mind, we are starting from the first wave and that is alphabetically. So we have started with Action Comics and that is Volume 1, Superman and the Men of Steel. So uh, that comprises of a main story in six chapters and then at the end you have a few shorter stories which are some of which are tied in with the main story. Not all of them but some of them are tied in with the main story and to be honest I actually preferred those shorter stories than the main story. So the story covers Superman sort of quite early on uh, when the public are first uh, encountering him. So it's interesting to see uh, different perceptions um, of Superman. So for example, when they don't know much about him, they call him an alien uh, and they think he's, um, he, they think he's a curse on the, on the city. Whereas uh, once they need his help, um, he's a savior, he's a hero, um, <laughs> which is um, <clears throat> quite an interesting social commentary. Um, yeah, so it sort of covers uh, early on, uh, not, not so much later. There's an array of all the different characters. So you've got Lex Luthor in there, uh, you've got Lois Lane, um, Jimmy Olsen. I don't know whether that's kind of because they just wanted to throw a lot of the familiar characters in there. Uh, rather than them being all necessary. Um, so in this particular one, the antagonist is the Collector of Worlds, uh, Brainiac, um, which, is, which is very cool, actually. I haven't read um, much, well, I haven't read much Superman, but I also haven't read much Brainiac or encountered him on any other medium, um, apart from recently when we played um, Suicide Squad Kills a Justice League. Spoiler. Um, yeah, so it was nice to read about those familiar characters. As I said, I love I love the art style. Uh, I think art style is really important to an enjoyment of graphic novels as well. You can have great writing, but really, um, really dull art style or just an art style that you don't particularly find very interesting. Uh, but in this instance, uh, story was all right. Art style was really great, like consistently really good. Um, what I didn't like about it so much was, uh, I guess just Superman really. I just don't find him as engaging a character as, um, as Batman, um, as a few other DC characters that I've read. Now that could be to do with, because I haven't read much Superman. Um, that's probably, yeah, a significant reason for it. Um, and I'm really hoping to find some more Superman stories that I can read to sort of expand my knowledge of the character. Um, yeah, so that was my main complaint. Um, again, most of it was cool and I look forward to reading the uh, next volume um, and seeing James Gunn's movie next year. That's quite exciting as well. So currently those are my thoughts about the very first volume of the uh, New 52. Um, so next, we will be covering dun, 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 All Star Western Volume 1, Guns and Gotham. Now that is, I believe, Jonah, Jonah Hex, yes. So uh, I'll cover that in the next video. Um, what I've read so far looks really great, but I'll go into a bit more detail once I've finished it. And in the next video, I'd really love to to hear what you guys think of Superman, uh, if there's any other Superman stories that you think I should read outside of the New 52, because the New 52 is a great series from what I've seen, but it is, again, quite a limited look at some big DC characters. Uh, yeah, 
So, see you next time. Thanks very much for listening. If you'd like to contact us or check out what we've been up to, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you enjoyed the video today, please do like it, subscribe to the channel and ding the bell to receive notifications about new videos. See you in the next one.